friends, it's my great privilege and honor to take you on a tour in the Center for Jewish Life and Learning being built right here in Victoria, BC. As soon as you come through the main doors to the building, you're going to have a reception desk right on the left here. And behind the reception will be the rabbi's office. From here, all the programs and events of Chabad will be organized. And right as you come in, you'll be able to get all the information you need. This is the library. That's a beautiful cozy room where we're going to have small classes and meetings with a fireplace in the corner. That will be a great place to meet in an intimate setting. This is the men's washroom and a coat room. And over here are four beautiful glass doors into the sanctuary, which will be 20 feet high right in this space. On the right hand, before you enter the sanctuary, we have the legacy wall where the names of all the donors who have made this happen will be right here, placed in this special legacy wall. And here will be a sink, which is made out of the rock that was excavated from this site. This is the woman's washroom, and before you enter the woman's washroom, there's a beautiful mother's room for a mother to look after her baby during services. Now we are ready to go down to the lower level. So as soon as you enter the lower level, there will be the cornerstone, which we laid seven months ago right here. And we enter into the lobby of the lower level. On the left here, electrical room, really the storage, mechanical room. And then we are entering the meat. The mikveh has its own entrance in the back for private reasons. And this is a spa-like mikveh, which begins with a beautiful reception right here. And the spa is here with a tub and a shower. And the mikveh itself, which is made up to the highest halachic standards. Back in the lobby of the lower level, on my left, the washrooms. And on my right, the state of the art, commercial grade kitchen, the dairy kitchen, meat kitchen, a walk in fridge, all stainless steel, commercial equipment. So from here, we walk in to the community hall, where all the kiddushes on Shabbos morning will take place all the community events and celebrations and simchas of our community. Now taking the elevator to the top floor. Out of the elevator to the third floor. This entire floor will be dedicated for the children of our community. There will be a beautiful daycare center here for 24 children plus beautiful classrooms for a Hebrew school. The view from the daycare will be of the Malahat in the fields of Topaz Park. This great playground will be available for the children of the daycare and the children of Hebrew school six days a week. Now it's in your hands to make it happen. Thank you very much. <laughs>